Hi. <laughs> We're doing a tier list because I felt the need to, and most tier lists... I don't know if anyone's done one of this before, but most tier lists are about, you know, food, and I was eating a Lunchable, so I got the idea that why don't we do a tier list about, about Lunchables. So, this is it, and if you disagree with my opinion, then too bad. Alright, we got white bologna and American cracker stackers. Alright, All right. the bologna and the cracker, by the way, we're not going to count the candies because those vary quite greatly, and also not the uh, drinks either. So this is this is, so we're just counting this off of bologna, American cheese, and crackers. Now they're a classic. They're not that good, but they're a classic. They hold a special place in my heart. The bologna is like a mystery me, but what isn't in Lunchable universe? You know, we got the crackers, which are also pretty good. The cheese could be a lot better. It's not best here. It's maybe A tier. I, I'm gonna say it, fe it, it feels more like it fits more in B tier. So we got the, the bologna at B tier. <laughs> this does not matter whatsoever to anyone in the universe ever. But you know what? We're doing it. Okay, so we got mini hot dogs. Now, I've never tried these mini hot dogs, but from the article that I copy-pasted these images from, it told me they were shit. And I... Honestly, don't trust Lunchable to make a hot dog. And I guess they were, like, really small, too. Or they are, I should say. I'm talking in past tense, like they went away or something. But I feel like I... I guess they're, one, too small, according to the article. And two, like, I, I don't trust Lunchable to give me a hot dog. You know what I mean? Like, this is not FT. It's not bottom of the barrel. It's- I'm gonna say it's D tier? No, it's too close to bologna. I'm gonna put it at E tier, alright? Because it is quite almost bottom of the barrel. Alright, we got chicken dunks. Now, I have a very strong and passionate opinion- <laughs> Opinion about chicken dunks, and here's why. One, they don't give you a variety like most- Lunchables do with like how the thing tastes like hot dogs you can add stuff bologna you can eat it like alone or with the cheese or with the cracker and cheese or with the crack you know what I mean these these are just like bland ass chicken nuggets with like ketchup and they taste nothing they taste like nothing except the ketchup when you put them in the ketchup the chicken nuggets alone are absolute dog shit and I'm very, very passionate. This chicken dunks are gonna go at the very, very bottom. They're at F tier. They are absolute garbage. They are unworthy of my breath. Now, we got nachos, cheese dip, and salsa. Now, nachos, cheese dip, and salsa, they're they're pretty good, okay? The, the, the salsa is good. The cheese dip is good, but the nachos themselves, the chips themselves, taste like shit. And they also managed to get another point taken off because of how unfilling they are. This isn't Lunchables, it's like Snackables. So I'm putting them at D tier. They're not quite near the bologna, but they are still above the, the hot dogs. Mini burgers. Alright, so I've never actually had mini burger lunchables, or if I have, I don't remember. But the article said that they were actually pretty good. Uh, the problem is, is that, again, I don't trust Lunchable to give me hamburgers? I, I just don't know how I feel about this. I feel like this should go like smack dab in the middle in, in the C rank. There's not really much to say on these guys. Actually, okay, I'm not gonna do the extra cheesy pizza first. I'm gonna do the pepperoni pizza first because, and and here's why. So the pepperoni pizza absolutely got here. This is going in S plus 100%, and here's why. So you got the yeah the the dough is kind of is kind of shit, but you got the sauce, you got the cheese, and you got the pepperoni. It doesn't taste like actual pizza whatsoever, but it has its own distinct taste, and it is absolutely god tier. It is the most delicious. 
the Lunchables, and it is the most filling out of the Lunchables. So th this is this will actually fill my stomach after a long day of, you know, whatever. Like, th th this actually filled my stomach after a long day of playing outside and getting stung by bees and what whatnot. So, th I, this is god tier. This is absolute god tier. Taste good. I still eat them because they're absolutely delicious. And they're still filling. And here's why I didn't want to do the extra cheesy one first, because it kind of rides off of the pepperoni. You could say that it minuses a point because of its lack of variety, but it's got... Um, okay, so I, I was going to say it saves itself with the different kind of cheese, but I'm going to say not really because they don't actually taste any different. But they're still pretty good, so I'm going to put them I'm gonna put them at S tier, right, right below pepperoni pizza, because I... I, I don't know. When I when I see these two, pepperoni pizza is automatically my choice. I don't debate about it. So it's definitely an S here below S plus pepperoni pizza. Here we got turkey and American. Turkey and American is pretty much the same as bologna. Except the turkey kind of... <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I'm going to put it at B with bologna. Because they're pretty much the same. They're, they're pretty much the same. Like, you know... There's not really any difference between them. We got ham and American. This kind of goes with bologna and turkey. There's not really much else to say on them. They usually have cookies with them, but again, we're not counting the extra like sweets that go with them. So they're gonna they're gonna be at B tier with with uh, bologna and turkey. Now apparently these are discontinued, but a According to the article, I guess they were, like, super good, and I guess waffle Lunchables do sound really good, and apparently they had sausage and syrup, and it was messy, and it was great. I have a feeling that I would like these if they weren't discontinued, so I'm gonna put them- I'm gonna put them at A tier, because they seem better than these three, but, like, still less than the pizzas. Alright, and now we got pizza and treats. Um, it- first of all, the pizza does not have any extra, it's just fucking- it- it's- it's disappointing. These these have like a different kind of cheese, pepperoni. This is just like regular mozzarella cheese and nothing else. And then you got the treatsa. The treatsa looks like something I would rather, you know, die than eat. I get the article said it was like really good, but I don't understand. Candy coated chocolate chips, the, those are M and motherfucker. These are MMs in a different shape. I don't know. I don't trust the chocolate sauce. I don't trust I don't trust I just don't. I just don't. I think it's disgusting. I haven't even eaten these, but I predict that these would be absolutely disgusting. I'm gonna put them- I'm gonna put them at fucking- I'll- I'll put- I don't know. I don't know. I- I guess I don't really have an opinion. I would put these at the very bottom of the half, but I'm gonna put them up here because I don't really have an opinion because I've never tried it. I don't know. Okay, I kind of, I kind of don't like that decision. I kind of feel uncomfortable with it. It's my fucking tier list. Okay, these go at the very bottom of the barrel with chicken dogs. Okay, these the absolute got the dog shit. Okay, this is this is my fucking tier list. And if you don't like it, then too bad. I don't like you. And uh, yeah, I ranked all the lunchables. And th this is it. This is the result. I hope you enjoy. Uh, I don't know why I made this, but I did. So, yeah. Goodbye. <laughs>